Good morning and everybody, thank you for coming out today. It's a great pleasure to be here with you to celebrate the opening of our new Engine 2. So I'm grateful to all who have contributed to providing our members with a safe and modern fire station to grow in. For having robust safety services is essential to the health and well-being of our members. This station was designed and built for firefighter safety, but it's more than a building. It's an investment in the safety of our community and for those who live and work here. This new fire station reflects the spirit of Chelmsford and the ability to work together in finding a way forward during very challenging times. I know that we will move forward in that same spirit and continue together to provide the highest level of services for our community. I have so many people to thank for making this project possible. To the Chelmsford firefighters for their input in the design phase, for your efforts in coordinating our move to our temporary station on Richardson Road, and for getting equipment for this station, I am thankful for your extraordinary efforts during a very long and difficult year. For Deputy Chief Mike Donahue, for working tirelessly to make sure the project moves forward, Mike's knowledge and experience in construction, his ability to work alongside the various vendors has ensured this project was going to be done correctly. During construction, he has made plenty of sacrifices to ensure that critical project milestones were met. Mike, I am thankful for all your, that you have done and for your partnership during this process. Thank you, Mike. And speaking of working tirelessly, Anna Griffin. Anna has coordinated with multiple vendors, coordinated the furniture delivery, has ensured that invoices were paid. Very important. And has personally come in during her vacation time to make sure we had furnishings for this station. And I am truly thankful for all you do and continue to do for us. Thank you. To members of the Permanent Building Committee, Eric Johnson, Steve Roberts, Evelyn Thorin, Deb Belden, and Tim Powderly, you volunteer and selflessly devote your time to ensure the proper oversight for the town's projects. This town couldn't function without this vital committee, and I am thankful for all that you have done to ensure that this project is done safely and within budget. To the owner's project manager, Pat Maloney. Pat has once again filled the critical role of owner's project manager, a role he has once more provided at no cost to the town. The town has benefited from Pat's experience in construction, engineering, and safety, and for ensuring the project remains on the path to success. Pat, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done for the fire department and for the town of Chelmsford. Thank you, Pat. DPW Director Gary Persichetti. Gary has worked tirelessly to deliver another town project that we can be proud of. Gary has been involved in every phase of this project, from the design through the build. Gary can often be found on the project site, whether it's early morning, late nights, and even holiday weekends. Gary coordinates with all the project contractors, and Gary, the town, and I am certainly fortunate for all your efforts. Thank you. For Building Commissioner Jose Negron and his staff, Dan Warren, Dennis Kane, Don Marash, and Vera, special thanks for your efforts to ensure that we have a code-compliant facility. We are appreciative of your efforts on our behalf. To the building company, Triumph. Liz Field is our project manager. Liz Field is also the quarterback for this project. We saw her high quality management skills on display with her previous oversight of the 2017 elementary school expansion project. And she has delivered once again. Liz, thank you for your strong work ethic, your professionalism, and for ensuring this project is done safely, on time, and done right. Thank you. Site Superintendent Bob Brunel. Bob provided the direct day-to-day -day supervision of the construction and coordinated all the subcontractors. The town was so pleased with Bob's work that decided to offer him a position within the town, and we are glad that he accepted. A project of this size doesn't get accomplished without great vision and leadership. I want to thank town manager Paul Cohen for his support. This is the second ribbon cutting we're having for a new station in seven years. Seven years ago today, we did the ribbon cutting for the fire headquarters. I can't think of another community that has made that type of investment in their fire department. Mr. Manager, thank you for creating an atmosphere for investment and growth in public safety. Thank you. To the members of the select board, finance committee, and capital committees, I am thankful for all your support you have provided, especially given the challenging times that we operate in. Finally, the people of Chelmsford. During a raging pandemic, I came before you for your consideration and vote for this project. 
At the time, businesses were closing, people were losing their jobs, and budgets were being slashed. You were provided with a vision for a better future for our members, and you responded. This is your firehouse. We are the current key holders. I believe that when you tour this facility, you'll be as proud of it as we are. I know I am. Again, everybody, thank you for coming out and celebrating this milestone with us. Thank you. I'd like to uh, welcome Power Manager Paul Cohen to say a few words. Thank you, Chief Ryan. Um, I don't know if there's anybody left to thank. You've named everybody in the room. But, um, but seriously, Gary, the one that you didn't thank and acknowledge was yourself. Um, Gary, you've been dedicated to this project and to the department uh, and, and really take tremendous pride in your efforts uh, and, and accomplishment of a facility that's going to serve the community for many years to come. So thank you again for your efforts. Um, as I'm standing here today, what, what comes to mind is how the predecessors of Chelmsford, those who built this facility, would feel today. And I think they'd be quite proud. And I know that George, for example, you know, George's father, who was instrumental in, in building this, the original facility, I think would be quite pleased with what's, what's taken place here at the site. This was a facility that was built for a different generation, called department, volunteers who were coming forward to the community to serve their area of, the, of town, and, and made a, you know, a, a, a stalwart building that stands today and will continue to stand in the future. It was a basic building that met the needs of the time and, and again, brought us forward over 50 years to where we are today. And I think we sort of followed in their footsteps. The, when we look at what, what took place here and how it was constructed, it was done. And, and I think we all joked about the original cost of the station when it was built, how it was done frugally and, 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 and mindful of, of the, you know, the conservative New England tradition of what takes place. And that's what happened here. The easy solution would have been tear the building down, build new, and build expensive. And then you would have had all the debris sent to a landfill, buried, and all the other things that go against the climate and everything that stands for today's generation. But what happened here was a significant financial investment that was, that was frugal to the town. Don't doubt that if we were here today and had to build this facility with the two drive-through bays and the living quarters and so forth, it would have cost millions more than what it was spent to rehab this facility. But yet, when you go through this facility, you notice that the facility is, is, meets the needs and is equivalent to a new constructed station. So again, money was saved, frugal, represents the spirit of the town, as well as the design. There's going to be no design awards for the exterior appearance of this building, nor was there for the, for the initial construction of the building. But much like the DPW facility that was also done with a similar spirit and, and the similar effort of, 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 of getting the best bang for your buck, that's what's happened here. And again, it was through the efforts, as, as, as Chief Ryan noted, of the, primarily of the Permanent Building Committee, who sort of looked at the options and found the most cost-effective solution, as they have done historically in Chelmsford. So again, I applaud your efforts and spirit and what's taking place. Um, this will be a facility that, again, will serve the generation of the community in the future. Um, and, and again, you should take tremendous pride with what's taking place here and how this will serve the community for the years to come. And so, again, I thank you. And again, can't give enough thanks for, for, for the building committee and their efforts uh, to, to achieve where we are today. Um, because we know that it, it's all a matter of, of that you know, spirit of, ded of dedication to the community. And I think as a departure to going forward, we as a community have to look at the remaining three substations of Chelmsford. And the select board has done that. They formed a committee and select board chair, Virginia Crocker Timmons, who's just arrived, uh, is leading that committee uh, for its first meeting this coming Thursday, where we'll sit with the chief representatives of the firefighters, as well as representatives of the community to decide how we move forward. And really, in my mind, it was, uh, this now serves an example of what is possible for the town and therefore how we now move to provide adequate facilities for our firefighters and to protect our community in the future. So again, on behalf of the select board uh, and the town of Chelmsford, thank you so much.
Next, I'd like to invite our project manager, our quarterback, Liz Field. Good morning. Well, I'll keep my comments brief. I just wanted to thank um, the town of Chelmsford again for their trust and confidence. Um, Triumph has worked previously with the town on a project um, back in 2017 at four elementary schools, and that was very successful and very rewarding. We worked with um, Gary Persichetti, and it was just a great experience. Um, I'm not sure if you, if you know, but sometimes working with a committee can have its challenges. And this time around, um, we had sort of a, a, a team committee. And I have to say that it was extremely rewarding. Everybody on the committee was very responsible, accountable. Um, it's a very high functioning team. And the town of Chelmsford is very lucky to have them all. Uh, specifically, uh, Chief Ryan, thank you very much for all your coordination and input and, and understanding. Uh, Deputy, Deputy Chief Donahue, thank you very much. Uh, he personally picked out a lot of the finishes and was extremely um, responsive to all of our questions and flexible about things that um, needed to change in the middle of the project due to um, some supply chain issues. Uh, DPW Director Gary Persichetti, thank you again. Um, permanent Building Committee, specifically Pat Maloney, Tim Powderly, and Deborah Belden. It's been a pleasure to work with all of you. And um, lastly, Paul Cohen, uh, thank you for your support um, in helping move this project forward. Uh, it's very rewarding to uh, work on a project that immediately services the needs of first responders. Um, and Triumph is very proud of um, the work that, um, that's been done here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liz, and hopefully we'll have another project we can work on together. If I can welcome Pastor Ryan Reilly up here, say a few words. Thank you, Chief. Just uh, The Chief asked me to come and, and just uh, say, a, say a prayer for this new station, as well as our men and women who serve so faithfully our community. So let's, let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for this beautiful facility. We thank you for providing the resources, the funds, uh, the manpower to be able to put this facility together. I pray for those who are going to be serving our community here, those firefighters who serve our community, this station. May you watch over them and bless them, protect them, and, and as well as all of our firefighters who serve our community so faithfully, Lord. Uh, be with our captains, be with our deputy chiefs, and our chief as well. And God, we just ask that you will just watch over them, bless them and their families, and just bless, continue to bless our community, Lord. And we pray all these things in your holy name. Amen. I think it's time. I could have uh, Deputy Chief Mike Donahue. We're going to cut the ribbon. Oh, he's got a lot of scissors.